what's up everybody welcome back to another live stream i hope you guys have been having an amazing day and let's go ahead and live stream guys now for everyone watching real quick can you guys go ahead and comment down below what state you guys are watching from go ahead and represent where you guys are watching from let me go ahead and shout you guys out and in the meantime, guys, I'm going to go ahead and give it a little bit more time for some more people to go ahead and tune in. So um, I'm going to give you guys 30 seconds real quick and go ahead and comment your things. All right, guys, welcome, welcome. I see I got a couple people in here. I got a couple people. If my camera and microphone all sound good, guys, can you guys go ahead and give me a quick thumbs up? I know everybody on TikTok, you guys can hear me perfectly fine because I'm on the phone. But for everyone on tick, uh, on Facebook and YouTube, yo, Adrian, shout out to Texas. Yeah, for everyone on YouTube and Facebook, I know um, the camera – and the microphone sometimes goes in and out. So um, if everything sounds good, if you guys could just give me a thumbs up. All right. I see a, I see a thumbs up. Evie, Evie in the Facebook chat. All right, guys. Now, also, sorry if it lags here and there. I got a new Wi-Fi guy coming in, installing new Wi-Fi. I'm all the way in the back of the room, so I'm going to go ahead and get an, uh, a router right here in my current office where I'm live streaming from. That way it doesn't lag. Unfortunately, I couldn't get an appointment set sooner. That way this live can be perfect. So here and there, you you may get a little lag or two. You might have me uh, sound a little bit like a robot. So I do apologize in advance. But for everyone watching so far, if you guys are watching live, go ahead and comment live. And if you guys are watching the replay, go ahead and comment replay for me. Now, I tell you guys to comment often just because not only do we get to interact with each other, but you guys also help out with the algorithm. Every time you guys comment, it helps out with the algorithm. It helps Facebook, you know, YouTube, TikTok, push, -ups, push us to the top, push us in front of more people's pages. That way, more people can go ahead and tune in and, of course, learn about the ATM business. With that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get into tonight's live. Tonight's going to be a quick one, as always. Don't want to take too much of your guys' time. Yeah. What's up, Horacio? How you doing, brother? Shout out to, to, to my brother, Horacio, in the chat. He's actually one of my students. He's going crazy right now in the ATM business. Horacio right now has about three to four locations, currently five, moving on to his fifth location with his ATM business, and he enrolled with my mentorship program, of course, and trying our best to get him to start scaling because we want to end 2023 as strong as possible. And, of course, start generating as much passive income as we can. Ain't that right, Horacio? Yes, sir. All right, guys. Let me go ahead and give you guys a little quick background that's new to the lives. I want to go ahead and introduce myself. I want to go ahead and let you guys know a little bit about me. What it is that I currently do, if you guys don't already know, the ATM business. But at the end of the day, guys, what qualifies me to give you guys knowledge on the ATM business? Now, my name is Juan Geronimo. For anyone that doesn't know me, my name is Juan Geronimo. I currently own an ATM business out of Texas. I have over 17 ATMs currently on location generating me passive income. And I'm here to pretty much teach you guys to do the exact same thing, right? So I've been in the business since January of 2020. And ever since then, guys, I've been pretty much fully taking advantage of this business. This business is a, it's, it's a very great business to get started as an aspiring entrepreneur, as a beginning entrepreneur, because not only is it a low start business, but it's very flexible. So if you still have a nine to five or a part time job or a current side hustle or business, you can still start your ATM business and don't have to necessarily leave your job or leave your part time side hustle, whatever the case may be. Right. It's very flexible. It's low in startup costs. And this business here. Gives you It allows you to generate passive income. Who here wouldn't like to generate passive income? Passive income, generating money in your sleep. Right? 
you wake up in the morning, you look at your phone, and now you have a, a big old deposit in your account that hit last night while you were sleeping. Who wouldn't like that, right? So that's what I currently do. I'm in the ATM business, and pretty much throughout my experience, throughout all of the trial and error that I've been through, I was able to gather all of this experience and copy it and paste it into this group, into my social medias. That way you guys can ultimately learn how to start your, your own ATM business and start generating passive income. With that being said, guys, thank you guys all that have been tuning into my lives. Thank you guys all that have been tuning into my TikToks, YouTube, all of my social media platforms. I do greatly appreciate it. Also, who here does not follow me or subscribe to my YouTube channel? I know I've been out for a minute. I haven't been posting, but today I posted my first video on YouTube in a, in a minute. Um, reason why I haven't posted in a minute is just because my camera equipment got stolen whenever, when I, whenever I went on vacation back in August. And unfortunately, I couldn't film on my phone due to the fact that I work with my phone, so I'm constantly on it. Um, and the content wasn't there. The quality wasn't there. The quantity wasn't there. So... I ordered a brand new rig, brand new camera, brand new microphone, tripod, all the good stuff, the lighting, everything. As you guys can see here in my lives, everything's is starting to look a little better, sound a little better. But I did buy new equipment, and now I posted my first video. If you guys go ahead and click the link in my bio. If you're watching on YouTube, you could just go to my page. But if you're watching on TikTok on, or Facebook, I'm, my name is Juan Geronimo on YouTube. And if you just look me up, ATM Business, I'll pop up. I posted a video of a day by day of an ATM business owner. So if that's something you guys would like to look at, go ahead and click the link in my bio and go ahead and watch that video. Don't forget to like. And of course, guys, if you would like to see more content about the ATM business regarding me filling them up or, or answering questions, having Q and A's on video, whatever you guys would like, comment them down below in my YouTube video. And of course I'll work on those videos for you guys. With that being said, enough talking. Don't want to take too much of your guys' time. Let's go ahead and talk about the ATM business. How do, how do you start the ATM business? Now, some of you guys may already know. It sounds in and out. Jesus, guys, I'm, I apologize. My Wi-Fi is just not there today. It's never there, right? I'm getting you Wi-Fi, though. I'm getting you Wi-Fi, guys. So bear with me one more week, and we're going to get a, a great connection. But let me... Go ahead and keep going, guys. If if some if the signal goes out or is staticky, let me know in the comments. I'm looking at the comments right now. So just let me know, and I'll go ahead and pause for a little bit, let the connection come back, and then we'll get back to it. But step number one, how do you start the ATM business? A lot of you guys may already know these simple steps, but there are four main pillars to start the ATM business. Step number one, you have to form a company. Now, whenever you start the ATM business, you can't just go buy a machine and place it on location to start generating passive income. You have to establish a business. Number one, a processing company won't work with you unless you have a, an established business. And number two, a, pro, uh, a bank won't be able to work with you unless you have an established business. Therefore, you need to apply for an LLC and an EIN. An LLC is a limited liability company, and the sole purpose of an LLC is not only to protect you and your personal assets, but of course, so you can be registered to the state that you are running a ATM business. Now, when it comes to an LLC, guys, it's very important to start off with an LLC. I know I get questions here and there, and I there's a lot of people that are saying, hey, can I start with an S Corp or a C Corp? You definitely can, but it's usually not recommended to start with a corporation unless you're making over $100,000. As a, as a starter, as a beginner in the ATM business, more than likely, you're not going to hit that mark within the first year. I mean, you can if you just prospect like locations like crazy and you happen to land a bunch of locations, gold mines specifically. But more than likely with the ATM business, guys, you won't hit $100,000 within the first year. I didn't and I scaled really fast. Um, <clears throat> so I would recommend starting with an LLC. One of my favorite ways to apply for an LLC is through inkfile.com. If you guys have a pen and paper, guys, highly recommend you to pull that out so you can start writing these notes down. <clears throat> Inkfile.com is one of my favorite websites to obtain an EIN. And the reason being is because with Inkfile, 
It's as simple as filling out an application, just like your ID or your driver's license. How many of you guys have gone to the DMV, applied for an, uh, an ID or a driver's license? It's literally that simple, guys. You go ahead and fill out all of the general information, first name, last name, all that good stuff. And then once you went ahead and submitted your application, you're just be waiting for the state to approve your LLC and send you all of your documentation back. Once you get all of the documentation back, you're pretty much ready to obtain your EIN, which is an employer identification number. Your EIN is what represents your business. It's pretty much like your social security number, right? Everyone that has a social, whenever you file for taxes, you use your social to file taxes, correct? That's the same thing with your company. You're going to use your EIN to file your taxes and, you know, do what it is that you have to do accounting with your accountant, right? Um, so your EIN. Number one thing to make sure you guys don't do is pay for an EIN. I know there's a lot of companies out there. I know there's a lot of businesses and even Inc. File, for example, the, the website that I'm recommending you guys to go to charges you for an EIN, but don't get that service, guys. An EIN you can obtain for free. All you have to do is go to the IRS website. Go to the IRS website, so irs.gov. You go ahead and apply for an EIN, and it's th literally that simple, guys. You apply for the EIN. You obtain it, and boom, you obtain it within the next couple minutes. Now you have your, your EIN. Now you're pretty much ready to start looking for a bank. Now, with the ATM business, guys, I know a lot of you guys may already know this, but you can't go with any bank. The reason why you can't go with any bank is because a lot of banks, they're not ATM business friendly, and they think that the ATM business is the MSB. The three big banks that I recommend you guys to not even go near doesn't matter if you have a relationship, doesn't matter if you've been banking with them for a long time or you have credit cards or loans, whatever. These three big banks you do not want to go near. Bank of America, Chase, and Wells Fargo. These three big banks you want to stay away from at all times because they will shut you down eventually. Trust me, guys, I'm speaking from experience. I used to work with Bank of America and literally nine months in of banking with them, they they said they sent me a letter, which I had to show up to the bank, withdraw funds for my ATMs. And guess what? They were like, hey, we can't give you any funds. Your account's frozen. <clears throat> Water break, guys. My throat drying up. Sorry. But yeah, guys, you can't go with the three big banks because they will shut you down. Three big banks, Bank of America, Chase, Wells Fargo, they will shut you down. You do not want to go near those banks because even if they take you in, guys, eventually the higher ups are going to find out that you're in the ATM business and they will end up closing your account, which ends up being bad news for you because now you have to put an ATM, your ATM business on pause and start looking for more locations, guys. Highly recommend not going to the three big banks. But once you found a bank, a good, reputable bank to work with, like smaller banks such as PNC, Citibank, Comerica, or even credit unions, guys. Credit unions are another great bank to work with for the ATM business. These banks right here, you can definitely set up an account without a problem and <clears throat> start banking with them. One thing I recommend, guys, whenever you start setting up your business bank account with a bank, start building a relationship. Yes, sir. Like my boy Horacio says Citibank worked for him. One thing I recommend, set up a relationship with these banks. Once you have successfully opened up an ATM business bank account, set up a relationship with your bank so you can build that, that relationship. You, you want to get a credit card, a small loan, whatever the case may be, right? That way, not only are you building a relationship with a bank, but later on, once you start to scale and you start to bring in more money, you start to withdraw more money, the bank doesn't start to be like, ah, you know what? We might have to call it a quiz here. Build a relationship. Start getting those credit cards if, 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 if you can. Highly recommend it. It'll definitely help out with that relationship between you and that bank. Now, after you set up the bank, guys, you're pretty much ready to start prospecting locations. Prospecting locations. To some people, it's tough. And to other students that take about a month to two months to find a location. And then I have another I have another student, for example, that just enrolled with me a couple weeks ago, like two weeks ago, that found his first location within the first week, guys. So it's a matter of how much time you got to put into prospecting locations, whether you're driving for dollars, whether you're cold calling, whether you're posting automated leads on Facebook, Marketplace, or credits, or whatever the case may be, right? But you want to prospect locations and you want to be able to, you know, have a script, have a pitch, 
have some type of offer whenever you're walking up to these businesses, guys. You can't just go up to a business and expect them to give you the chance to in install an ATM in their business. You have to be able to give them some type of offer. You have to have give them some type of incentive that your ATM is going to be a great benefit for their business, such as bringing in more foot traffic, uh, lowering those credit card fees. A lot of these businesses that take cards, they pay fees on these credit card machines, right? Every transaction, they pay a small a small fee from uh, two to four or five percent per transaction. So whatever the size transaction is, they pay anywhere up to like four percent, which is average on that transaction. So your ATM being in that business and allowing them to try to take as many cash transactions as possible will help them uh, uh, eliminate all of those fees, which, you know, 4%, it doesn't seem like a lot per transaction, but trust me guys, over the course of the month, over the course of all those credit card fees and transactions that they've done, it adds up guys. And I'm talking about hundreds, if not thousands of dollars, depending on the size of the business. So Highly recommend you guys to have some type of offer, have some type of pitch. That way you can convince the business owner like, hey, having an ATM doesn't here is a great idea. It'll help you eliminate those fees. It'll help bring in more foot traffic, bring up those uh, cash sales. Um, it just, you know, all the way around great experience, right? Have an offer. That way, you know, these businesses can be like, you know what? Let me give it a shot. There's really nothing to lose, right? So highly recommend you guys to come up with an offer. Of course, anyone that's part of my mentor, like my boy Horacio in the chat, he gets a full-on sales script being part of my mentorship program. He also gets brochures. He gets qualification questionnaires. And of course, lifetime one-on-one -on -one mentorships with me. That's what you get with just being part of my mentorship program. So if you're someone that wants a little bit more assist when it comes to prospecting or when it comes to ATM or processing, whatever the case may be, I will bore you whenever you enroll with my mentorship program. Everyone part of my mentorship program does get lifetime access to my program as well as one-on-one -on -one mentorships, unlimited one-on-one -on -one mentorships with me. So that is pretty much the four main pillars to get started with the ATM business, guys. Like I said, today is going to be a quick one. I know I got a, a couple of new in the chat. I know a couple of new people in the live. So for all of you guys that are brand new, that are watching, whether you're watching the live or you are watching the replay, and this is for my people on Facebook and YouTube. If you are new, go ahead and comment new right now in the chat. That's N-E-W. Go ahead and comment new in the chat right now. And I will personally send you an ATM business strategy guide. Now, for everyone on TikTok, if you are new, highly recommend you guys to go to the link in my bio, message me on Instagram, and send me the message new on IG. The reason why I say go to my Instagram, guys, is just because on TikTok, I have to follow you guys. You have to follow me in order for us to message each other. So, Albert, go to my Instagram, brother, and send me a message new. It's better to send me a message on Instagram because here on, on TikTok, if I click your name right now, of course, I'll follow you. But we have to follow each other to, to send each other messages. All right, I see Evie commenting you. I see Adrian commenting you. We will be sending those ATM business strategy guys shortly as soon as the live is done. Um, also, guys, if you guys are watching the replay, comment replay one, but also comment new guys. If you guys are watching the replay, doesn't mean that we're done, that you won't be getting this guide or you won't get your questions answered. Guys, if you are watching the replay, I'm still going to send you guys those guide. If you comment new. Also, guys, if you're watching the replay, comment because I'm always looking at the comments. I'm always nonstop watching my group, interacting with my group. So if you're watching a replay and you happen to have a question, feel free to ask because I'm still going to answer those questions for you guys. All right. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys 30 seconds. We're going to go ahead and move on to our Q&A. Our Q&A pretty much consists of you guys asking me questions, whether it's about the ATM business, whether it's about my current ATM portfolio, whatever questions you guys have, go ahead and comment them down now. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys 30 seconds to come up with some questions and we'll go ahead and move into our Q&A.
So question number one from TikTok, how do I find a location? So when it comes to prospecting locations, there's three different ways that I like to go about whenever I started on my own. Now I call, not, not officially yet, but I am working on having a call center to start generating leads for me. Of course, you have to invest into that. You have to pay for that. But if you wanted to find leads on your own, number one, guys, automated leads, my favorite. Posting on Facebook, posting on Craigslist, posting on on uh on OfferUp, all those all those social media platforms, guys, take advantage of them. How many here? How many people here are are on social media often? How many people are are familiar with social media posting? Um, whether it's Twitter, whatever, you can post, guys. Make Facebook Marketplace posts, run ads on Facebook, which is one of the best ways to go about. And just t title your your uh, your post free ATM installations. Quick description of what it is that you offer, your your name, your business, all that good stuff. That's how you generate hot leads. That's one of my favorite ways to generate leads is by automated leads on Facebook Marketplace, offer Craigslist. Number two, go ahead and start driving for dollars. How many people drive a lot? How many people drive for a living? Drive for their job, whatever, or just constantly go out on the weekends. Whenever you're driving, guys, keep your eyes peeled for locations, whether they're barber shops, whether it's bazaars, whether it's malls, smoke shops, strip clubs, whatever the case may be, cash only store, convenience stores. Keep your eyes peeled when you're driving because a lot of these locations that you're driving by could definitely benefit from an ATM. And guess what? That is how you generate leads. You, you make a list, you write down their information, and you could either walk into the business whenever you're, you're going out and driving for dollars, or you could give them a call. Now, that brings me to my next step, which is cold calling. Cold calling is another great way and effective to be able to generate leads and, and close leads without having to waste time by driving or driving or being stuck in traffic. Cold calling, you simply generate a list, and you're knocking, all, you're knocking that list whether you're emailing or calling. Boom, 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 boom. Who sits at a desk for a living? Who works from home? Who Who is a receptionist at a hotel or a hospital, whatever the case may be, and you're just constantly on the desk just taking patients in and you got free time here and there. Take advantage of that time and start you know, emailing, start generating leads on online or, or on your phone. Take advantage of your phone, guys. Um, that is how I would find locations as a beginner. Later on down the line, whenever you start to scale, Highly recommend to start um, either paying for referrals or um, start uh, paying like uh, a VA or a call center to start generating leads for you. Delegate that process. Another question from Adrian. I don't fully understand the processing part of the business. Please explain. So when it comes to processing for your ATM, the processing is pretty much the network that facilitates those transactions on your ATM. So, for example, if you have an ATM and you place it at a convenience store, how are those transactions coming out from the customer to your account? The network. The network that me and my team work with is Switch Commerce. Switch Commerce is the network that facilitates all of those transactions. So, let's say, for example, a customer goes up to your ATM and takes out 20 bucks. The processing network will literally, within a snap of a finger, guys, this happens so fast. Within a snap of a finger, the processing network will go to their bank, the customer's bank, make sure that they have the $20 in their account along with the $3 that your ATM charges, so a total of $23. If the network confirms that they have the funds, they will allow your ATM to dispense the $20. The processing company instantly pulls the $20 plus the $3 fee out of their account, and the next day you will get those funds in your account, and that's with every transaction. <sighs> That's how the processing works. So for those of you guys that are wondering on processing, me and my team with the ATM plug and my mentorship program, we automatically hook you up with free processing, free unlimited processing. Meaning that if you want to go ahead and scale your business to 20, 30 ATMs, we'll be able to help you out with that for free. Any more questions, guys? Any more questions? 
while you guys rack up a little bit more questions, let me go ahead and give you guys a little bit more details about my mentorship program, what it is that we offer. My main package right now is my elite package and my elite package consists of an online course. You get an online step-by-step -step course and this mandatory this comes with every package of mine but my most common like i said is my elite package and you do get the online course the online course is a step-by-step -step course that guides you from a to z guys you're able to process um not only learn the processing side but also understand your atm programming it filling it up with cash changing receipt paper all that good stuff you'll be able to learn from my online step-by-step -step course aside from my online step-by-step -step course guys you're also going to have a online Facebook group where you guys and only you guys part of my mentorship program are in that group. So anytime I have any updates in my course or in my program or just any updates in general about the ATM business, I will notify every single one of you guys in the Facebook group. Now, sorry guys, I think I'm lagging. I'm lagging. Now, aside from my Facebook group, guys, you also will get one brand new ATM included. Brand new Hyosung Halo 2 included with my program. Now, this ATM right now is the best machine in the game. The best machine you can have as an ATM business owner. It's a one cassette ATM, meaning it only holds one, one type of bill, whether it's 20s, 10s, whatever you want. And it holds up to 1,000 notes. So this machine right here, guys, is perfectly fine. This is the machine that I currently only use, a Hyosung Halo 2. And this machine right here, with my Elite Package, you get one brand new ATM included, two-year warranty from the manufacturer, and of course, it is 100% yours. So, once you get the machine, once you enroll with my package, of course, you'll get the ATM shipped out. We'll go ahead and get you set up with the programming, processing, all that good stuff. That way, we get that ATM on location to start generating your passive income. Now, aside from the ATM, you also will get one brand new internet box included. Now, the internet box is pretty much the Wi-Fi for your ATM. That way, it's able to communicate to the network. Your ATM does need internet in order to communicate. So, we do provide you with one brand new internet box. Again, 100% yours. The only thing you will have to cover is $6.99 for the monthly fee. But $6.99, guys, is a drop in a bucket compared to what you guys are going to make. After your ATM is sell box, guys, you will get the free process the free unlimited processing that i told you guys about so you can use your atm with us for free you can scale your business until 100 atms a thousand atms whatever you would like and we're going to continue to process with you guys for our process for you guys for free and we don't tell you open or no contract guys so if you ever decide to part ways if you ever decide to work with someone else guess what you can definitely do that there will be no repercussions when working with us not every company offers that guys some companies strictly tie you up under your under a contract so you can work with them only, not with us guys. We're we are a true believer in the work that we offer, in the service that we offer. That we don't need that we don't necessarily need to tie you up under a contract. We let you experience our service for your and of course, if you don't like, you can definitely move on to someone else or. If you just decide to enroll with another processing company, you can definitely do that with no repercussions. At the end of the day, we 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 literally um, offer what we preach. So it's the best of the best right now in the game, guys. Now, after the processing company, guys, you will get one location agreement. A lot of people are confused about the location agreement, whether you have to sign a contract with the business or how do you offer them a percentage per transaction. Well, we offer you a location agreement that helps you out with all of that. Meaning you can walk into a business, talk to the business owner, let them know, hey, we offer free ATM installations. We will pretty much put this ATM in here for two to five years, depending on the agreement between you and them. And we offer you 25, 50 cents per transaction. All of that, guys, you will have in your agreement. And once the business owner signs that agreement, you are protected, meaning the business owner can try to pull a quick one on you and try to say the ATM's there or try to kick you out to put in another guy in there. You, your, This ATM agreement will protect you and your company. 
and of course allow you to have your in as safe as possible in that business without getting taken advantage of from whether the business owner or anyone else, right? So you will get one brand new location agreement when being part of my mentorship program. Aside from the location agreement, guys, you're going to get tons of PDFs. Like I said, my boy Horacio in the chat, he got sell scripts, brochures, qualification questionnaires. You are going to get all kinds of PDFs, including a list of banks. So for everyone that's wondering, oh, well, the bank this, bank that, not every bank works with the ATM business. Guys, we will provide you a list of banks nationwide, literally all over the United States that works with the ATM business. That way, you guys don't have to worry about struggling when finding a bank. We give you a list of banks. You simply go down that list, whichever bank is nearest to you, set up that appointment, and we get that bank account set up as soon as possible. Aside from the list of banks and all the PDFs that you guys get, you will get lifetime one-on-one -on -one mentorship. Unlimited calls, guys. Every single person in my mentorship program has my cell phone information. So anytime you have an issue or a concern about your ATM or your ATM business, whatever the case may be, you'll be able to shoot me a text. You'll be able to give me a call. And unlike other programs or other courses out there, guys, I'm not sending you the tech support. I'm actually helping you out directly. So everyone that's part of my mentorship program will get help directly from me as you guys will have my cell phone information. So that is my elite package for my mentorship program. Of course, our packages vary depending on your needs. Some people may need an ATM, others may not. Some people may need, you know, the course, others may not. Some people, believe it or not, guys, I have students that had already bought ATM courses and they just want my services. So at the end of the day, guys, prices vary. At the end of the day, prices vary. So if you guys are interested in my mentorship package and everything that I just listed um, in, in this live, and for those of you guys just now tuning in, don't worry, the live will be posted again in the group so you guys can go back and watch. But if you guys are interested in my mentorship program and you want a little bit more information on that, such as pricing and the different packages that best fit you, go ahead and comment plug right now. Comment plug. That's P-L-U-G. Again, for everyone on my TikTok, send me a message plug, P-L-U-G, in my TikTok. Send me a message on Instagram because on TikTok, it's weird. We, we have to follow each other to message each other. Comment plug if you guys are interested. I see my boy Adrian comment plug. I'm going to go ahead and send you that guide, Adrian. And, of course, set you up with a free 10 to 15 minute informational call. We'll go ahead and chop it up. We'll go ahead and talk a little bit about the business, what it is that you're looking for, and ultimately see if we're a great fit for you. And if we are, we'll go ahead and get you started, get you started with generating passive income. But for everyone interested in my mentorship program and you would like to hear a little bit more details about that, comment plug. P-L-U-G. Oh, so I got a, I got a, a question. Oh, wow. I hate when I start a course and supposedly the personal number, it's a personal number, but it takes me to an operator. Yeah. So, so um, Gunzi713, um, yeah, I gave you my personal cell phone number, guys. So anybody um, watching right now, I believe my boy Horacio is in the chat. He might have left, but. You can ask him, for example, Horacio is in the chat. If you guys scroll up in my Facebook group, Horacio, he's actually in my mentorship program. He can tell you for, for, uh, for, he can speak for me and he can let you know that I actually give them my cell phone number and everybody gets to reach out to me anytime. Now for everyone watching, whether you're on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, you guys can literally go over to my free Facebook group. For those of you guys in my group right now, you guys can go over to the guide section. Go under the guide section and scroll down to where it says student success stories. In those, in that guide right there, I tag every single student that I have helped so far start their ATM business. And I tag them so you guys can reach out to them anytime and ask them for yourselves. Any more questions, guys? Any more questions? Sorry about the lag, guys. Sorry about the lag. I'm getting new Wi-Fi soon. I'm all the way in the end on the other side of the house, guys. So my router is like literally across the house. So 
these lives sometimes they lag here and there because of course my signal's weak. Any more questions, those guys? Any questions? When you open this business, you need to have money safe. Um, typically, to start the ATM business, guys, you would need six to eight thousand dollars. Six to eight thousand dollars to start this business successfully with your first ATM. That includes investing in your LLC. That includes investing in your ATM, invest in the bulk cash, all that good stuff. Six Yo, what's up, Reels? How you doing, brother? Any more questions? Any more questions, guys? If you guys don't have any more questions, that's going to be it for tonight's live, guys. Um, tonight was a bit of a quick one. It was a bit of a rush. I apologize on that. Um, I was actually supposed to fly out to Mexico today, so I was going to postpone this live till tomorrow, Thursday. Um, but my flight ended up getting canceled. So I planned this live last minute. I planned on doing it on Thursday, but I ended up doing it today to keep the keep the same schedule. And um, that's the reason why it was a bit of a, a quick one. But for everyone that tuned in, whether you're watching live or whether you're watching the replay, I do appreciate you guys tuning into the live as well as everyone on TikTok. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, for everyone that's new and everyone that's watching the replay, guys, I just posted a video today on YouTube. My name is Juan Geronimo on YouTube, or you can go to my links in the bios and click it and go to my YouTube. Um, I'm sure you'll find it that way. I just posted a video of a day in the life of an ATM business owner. So if you guys have maybe like eight minutes of your day to head on over to my YouTube channel, watch that video, share, subscribe, like, I would greatly appreciate it. I have two ATMs. What's the best way to really grow your business? Staying consistent, brother. Staying consistent and disciplined is really the best way to do it. For example, if you're someone that doesn't have the capital to invest in a call center or a VA or a can finder service, staying consistent, driving for dollars nonstop, doing the cold calling, doing the automated leads, that's the best way you're able to scale. I was able to get all of my 17 ATMs all on my own. Well, that's a lie. I actually got a couple referrals, um, but aside from majority of my locations, guys, I did them all on my own. I was able to put them all on my own, and it was all to be, you know, staying disciplined, staying consistent. So with six to eight thousand dollars, how far will you get me with ATMs? With six to eight thousand dollars, you'll be able to establish your first ATM on location. You're able to start with your first ATM. Bolt it and everything. Depending on the location and how it performs will depend on your cash flow, your passive income. For example, I currently have ATMs that generate me $250 a month all the way up to $2,500 a month. So at the end of the day, it, it varies on location. Location is key in this business, guys. Location is key. All right, guys. Everybody on YouTube and Facebook, I greatly appreciate you guys tuning in. I see that you guys don't have any more questions, so I do appreciate you guys for tuning in and live on the live for tonight. Thank you, guys. But that was it for tonight. Like I said, guys, I do apologize. It was a bit of a rush one because I didn't plan on one live today. I was supposed to go live tomorrow. My flight got canceled. Here I am today. But for anyone joining, anyone watching the replay, don't worry. Send me a message. Ask me a question here in the comments. I'm watching the replay. I'm watching the questions. Um, and I'll go ahead and answer them for you guys. But with that being said, guys, it was a pleasure hopping on here and helping you guys out, learning something new. But I'm out. Peace.